on your screen. Well, now for a change of pace. A decade ago, Keith and Jenny were looking forward to retiring. They sacrificed that dream when they took on the responsibility of raising their five grandkids. Throughout the chaos and clutter, they've never complained. But we thought it was time to give them a surprise. <coughs> it's something you've got to do. If we didn't do it, the kids could be out in the street. Our whole life is revolved around them and we wouldn't have it any other way. More like parents than grandparents. I wouldn't swap it for the world. I'd do it all over again because they're mine. They're, they're my in... babies. Jenny and Keith aren't your average grandparents. <coughs> They've taken on five grandkids. I'm Noah. I'm Marley. I'm Gypsy Marley. I'm an eco. I'm kind. All right, what's the next word? And a whole lot of responsibility. It's completely different. It's a harder generation. This modern family have been together for almost a decade. Their mother, Jenny and Keith's daughter, unable to care for them. Their mum just left them here for us to mind and sort of never really came back. Was that a hard decision to make, to take on the kids? No. It was quite easy, actually, because we knew what was best for the kids. Drink it without, excuse me. It Don't was it. always us putting food on the table, always us clothing them. With five kids to juggle, their dreams of retirement were put on hold. They remortgaged the house and every cent goes towards raising the kids, including a family cruise they've put on the credit card. Did you ever imagine that this is how you'd be spending your twilight years? Oh no, no. Keith always dreamed of having a Winbago in the driveway. <laughs> All I seem to do is washing and folding and by the time I get to the end of that it's time to go and get the kids from school again and they're home and it's meal time and it's time to go to football and another day is gone and I think, oh, I'm still nowhere. While Jenny and Keith are coping as best they can, sometimes it feels like they're drowning in household chores and debt. I've gotten to the point I don't know how to get out of it now. And that upsets me. Noah. Stay with us, please. On top of their daily struggles, the family has recently been dealt another blow. Keith diagnosed with cancer. Jenny drives the whole family to hospital every day for Keith's radiation therapy. The four hour round trip leaving little time for their everyday chores. And all of a sudden it feels like something, the wheels are falling off. And I keep trying to process it, I can't. When we first met Jenny and Keith, it was our intention to tell their story. But after spending the day with them, we realised that they need a helping hand. So we've assembled this team of experts to help clear the clutter and make life that little bit easier. Hey, Jenny. You told me yesterday that you're going to make decisions like chop, chop, chop. First in line, declutter expert Karen from Organising Australia. Did you realise you had this many cups? No, I didn't realise it. She's got a big heart, so she's taken a lot of people into her house. And if you have a lot of people, they have a lot of stuff. Candles from my wedding. They're ready to go? They're ready to go. I've been holding on to a lot of stuff because of memories, I think. But I when you build up a lot of stuff in front of grandkids. After three days of decluttering, Keith and Jenny managed to dump or donate 70% of their stuff. I'm oh, ashamed of myself, I think allowing it to get like this. With the clutter gone, it was time to bring in Paul and his team from House Proud Cleaners. Keith and Jenny need a hand, and uh, we've come in with a team to try and make a difference if we can. Once the house was sparkling, it was ready for a long overdue makeover. We've got shelving to do, we've got a window to pull Cue out. Cue Brad the Builder and some storage solutions from Scott and the Monsters Home Improvement team. We've got some storage solutions for them, uh, and some appliances and things like that to give them a bit of a hand. And some finishing touches before the family returns. Jenny, have you got the tissues out there already? <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm nervous, actually. Well, there's been a busy team at work, I can tell you that much. Here we come. <gasps> awesome. What? Look at all that. We can see the kitchen. Oh, it's just... Oh, I took the window out. Oh, wow. Looks a bit oh, different, doesn't it? Going to Beautiful. You mentioned to me that you know you didn't know where to start with all of this. I hope that this you know gives you a bit of a starting point. What do you think? Oh, I can't believe it. 
I really can't. I just can't take it. I know. I just can't believe it's the same oh, one. Oh, wow. Noah, look. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Look, but every flavour. Now, tell me a bit about the gazebo, because we found it in the garage and it hadn't been put up, but you'd obviously bought it, I'm guessing, with the intention to, to use it? To use it, to ago. put it up a long time ago. It's just things done that we would never have gotten done and how you've done it and... I don't know. Oh, it's about having a lot of people helping us, Jenny, and we're about to go out the front and meet all them now. <laughs> Words can't express how I feel. It's just to know how much easier it made our life. Really, truly. It was our pleasure. Anything we could do, just to lend a hand Thanks to so make much, your Brad. Thank you. Just so make it a little bit easier for you. We've got another surprise here coming, Jenny and Keith. Woolworth has very kindly got some uh, donations here, some groceries for you, so you don't have to do a big shop. Go, go. <laughs> We're only two. Too pleased to um, contribute $500 worth of groceries and also a $500 petrol um, voucher for yourself. We know that raising a family can be very expensive and um, we hope this helps you continue to do what a fantastic job you guys are doing. Thank you so much. Well done, Willies. We've still got one more surprise, guys. We're here today to, on behalf of Carnival and Harvey World Travel Lake Haven, we're giving you the rest of your trip. <gasps> so you're able to travel. Not at all. It's the least we both could do. So here we go. Enjoy your cruise. <laughs> Big weight off my shoulders. I can't put into words how it feels. Today is the first day forward. Well, that'll make a difference. What a great family. And to get all the information on the helpers who made that surprise possible, just go to our website. The details are on your screen. Well, it's something that most of